so very good morning dear students uh, i hope uh, what we have done in the last lectures of permutation and combination chapter you are cleared with all the things and formulas concepts and logics okay so in the last lecture at the very end i as i told you that we have completed permutation and the very next topic of permutation that is circular permutation is exempted from the reduced syllabus now we are going to start the new topic that is combinations okay so permutation and combination i have given you some sense in the very starting video let us again recall the meaning of combinations okay so the definition of permutation says each of the group groups or selections which can be made by taking some or all of a number of objects without reference to the order of the object in each group is called a combinations which means that if you are having a b and c as the object and you need to make the combinations by taking two at a time so how many combinations you can make a b b c and a c isn't it so from this example we can understand that combinations we can uh, like it it can be understood like from each group or selections we can take some or all the number of objects in this order does not matters you know this is a very basic difference between permutations and combinations the difference between the combi uh, permutation and combination of object is order does matter in the permutation but in the combination it does not matters okay so you need to keep this point this thing in your mind as we have seen the formula for permutation which is n factorial upon n minus r factorial similarly we have for the combination 2 that is nc r equal to n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial so there is not a lot of difference between their formulas in the per combination denominator you have to multiply it with the r factorial okay so this is the formula for the combination now as we have done in the permutation when all the objects are different when all the objects are not different so we will be seeing this case in the combination too okay so very first case when permutation when all the objects are different we need to use the formula which is in front of u okay so based on this formula in with the knowledge of combinations or with the help of combinations or you can say the applications of combinations we will be seeing in this exercise uh, uh, just one a very good example if you have seen that movie that movie uh, that is of uh, i think uh, rithik roshan uh, that is i i don't remember the name of that movie it is uh, somewhere just wait yeah i remember that is super 30 film you know rithik roshan asked one of the student that uh, there are uh, 20 uh, i don't remember actually there are may i'm taking randomly there are 20 people in a room so how many handshakes are possible so in that particular thing the combination has been used okay so we will be going uh, we will be seeing such cases in this and you know believe me this combination is very important and it is very practical also so you will feel very uh, that means exciting to solve this questions okay so let's get started with such questions say for example if you have 100 c 98 100 c 98 as the formula says ncr is equal to n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial so that is 100 c 98 will be 100 factorial upon 98 factorial into 100 minus 98 factorial 100 factorial if i'm opening i'm i'll open till 98 factorial why because in the denominator it would be like we have 98 factorial that is why 2 factorial is 2 only so 2 with this 50 so 50 into 99 you will get the answer of it 
all right so okay before starting the exercise i just want to take you through this uh, some of the color corollaries the first corollary is n c n is equal to 1 you can prove by the formula n c r it can be written as n c n minus r so for example 100 c 98 whatever we have written just now this can be written as 100 c 100 minus 98 100 minus 98 is what 2 So hundred C two, you know the answer of this one and this one they both are same. So that is why they made the corollary that N C R equal to N C N minus R. Now this is the third third corollary. It says that uh, N C A if N C A is equal to N C B from here, this implies A equal to B or A plus B is equal to N. If you are given with such conditions. You can conclude two two things, a equal to b or a plus b equal to n. Now this is the third corollary, n c r plus n c r minus one. If you add these two, you will get n plus one c r. You can prove this by the formula. Use the formula of n c r and n c r minus one. Just add them. You will end up with the formula of this one. Okay, this is given in your textbook. So please refer it. and understand it this will give you a good practice okay one more thing nc0 is equal to 1 this also you remember okay let us understand this question uh, 35c n plus 7 equal to 35c 4n minus 2 so as we see that the n r equal and uh, it is matching with a uh, one of our co corollary which i have written That is N C A equal to N C B. So here two condition arises. As I told you, A equal to B N A plus B equal to N. So compare N plus seven equal to four N minus two. From here you are getting N equal to three. And with this A plus B equal to N, what you are getting N equal to six. So both the answers are admissible because with both the N you are getting the same result here. Okay. so that is why n has three values 3 or 6 okay okay let us understand this question npr equal to 720 into ncr uh, okay okay just pause the video and you try to understand how i have done this question okay i hope for the positive response thank you okay so here comes some uh, word problems i'm reading one of them how many different teams of seven players can be made from the 10 players you are having 10 players and you need to make you need to make a combination of seven players from them how can you make so this is a combination case 10 c 7 how many selections of four books can be made from the eight different books from the eight you need to comb you need to make the combo of four so 8 c 4 similarly nine stamps stamps can be made from the 11 different stamps So, eleven C nine. Okay, again the question came. Twelve persons meet in a room and each shake hand with all others. Find the number of handshakes. So twelve people are there. Now how do hand? Uh, how do we shake hands? One hand here and another hand here and like this we shake hand. So for shaking hands you require two hands. Okay, so that is what by the combination of two hands you do a handshake. So that is why twelve C two. With the twelve C two, you will get the total handshakes between those twelve people. So twelve C two means twelve factorial upon two uh, factorial into twelve minus two factorial. Twelve factorial. Just keep it as it is. Two factorial is two. This is ten factorial. Now open twelve factorial till ten factorial only. So twelve factorial can be written as twelve into eleven into ten factorial upon two into ten factorial. Ten factorial to ten factorial cancelled. Two with this twelve six sixty six handshakes will be there in between those twelve people. Okay. Coming to the next question, that is, how many different committees, each consisting of three girls and two boys, can be chosen from seven girls and five boys so from the seven girls and five boys we need to choose three uh, boys and three girls so 
combinations okay and it is of and case i told you for the and and or for the or what we do for the or we do uh, multiplication and for the and we do addition okay okay so we need to multiply so always remember that if it if it comes or then we add them and if and is there then we multiply it okay so we need to multiply and we'll get the answer of it now coming to the more questions what is the number of ways of choosing two red cards from the pack of 52 cards so how you will choose two cards from the pack of 52 cards that is 52 c2 okay like that now let us come to a very interesting questions question which is very practical also and which could be helpful for you in the civil services examination you would have seen that such type of block uh, such type of block kind of question comes uh, and they usually ask that how many squares or you consider rectangle whatever it may be how many squares are there in this particular diagram or how many squares are there in this particular diagram so uh, for a lay person it is quite tedious to count each and every block and also see all the possible things also all right but but for those lay persons it is tedious but for us it would be very easy let us see how how can we count in a seconds that how many squares are there or how many uh, rectangles or whatever may uh, whatever it is there okay understand this question very clearly okay so how i'm going to see if i ask you that one block how one block is formed so you will tell me with the help of two parallel lines like this and with the help of again two parallel lines like this we get or we get or we say that we uh, uh, we form a block okay so if i ask you how this block is formed with the help of this line this two lines and this two lines this particular block is formed now i just want to ask you how many total blocks are there so what we will do we count the lines this one one two three four five how many lines are there five so five and how many lines are in the uh, this uh, vertical so for the horizontal there are five and for the vertical one two three four five and six so six now with the combination of the horizontal two combinations of horizontal and two combinations of vertical we get one block so 5c2 will give the total combinations 1 2 3 4 such type of and 6c2 will give us the total combinations of the vertical line and if i multiply it so 5c2 uh, let me do 5c2 10 into 6 c2 that is 15 10 into 15 150 so there are total 150 blocks or 150 squares or rectangle is in this particular diagram did you understand that how do we do if such type of uh, diagram is there then we count the number of lines in the horizontal and number of lines in the vertical so 5c2 into just remember this is into 6c2 if you multiply you will directly get the answer so isn't it this easy rather than counting it okay next geometric question seven points lie on a circle this is a circle one two three four five six seven how many chords are possible by joining this points so how many chords are possible like one two three so we won't be making such chords here we will be using the application of combinations as we know that a line is formed by joining the two points and by the combination of two points we get one line so if you have seven points so on those seven points we need the combination of two so 7c2 is uh, 
21 so there are 21 chords uh, we can have in this particular circle okay all right so in this context i just want all of you to just go through example number 35 let me read it there are 18 points in a plane no three of which are in the same straight lines except five which are collinear find the number of straight lines and triangle formed by joining them i want all of you to just go through this example and also example number 36 a polygon has 44 diagonals find the number of its sides so a polygon has 44 diagonal diagonals in it and find the number of sides so as the diagonals are formed by nc2 ways okay and in the diagonals if you have 44 then we don't count the number of sides it is having okay so number of sides c2 minus number of its side with this formula you will get uh, the total side of that particular polygon so let me just uh, give you the homework that up to uh, this uh, question number 36 or 37 36 just do the examples and this questions also try to do up to 14 or 15 uh, i know i'm giving you uh, somewhat uh, like some uh, that means what we say very much work but still it is for your sake just see the examples go through the examples i'm not telling you to solve it and if you want you can solve also no issues in that but try to solve up to 14 or 15 questions in the uh, fair copy of the exercise and from the 16th we'll do in the next lecture and probably will complete this chapter in coming two or three lectures okay so bye bye thank you so much take care and do practice